Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hall, your solution to fashion. It's always a nice time to be here because I believe that my videos are helping you and you are learning a lot from it. Like I said in my other videos, please, I need comments. Drop a comment and let me know with what I'm teaching you, your understanding, and it's, it's, it's helping you to grow in fashion. Today, we're going to do a very simple thing. I'm going to teach you how to cut a danshiki. So many people have been wondering, how is a danshiki cut? You know, because see, it's so been like a bada. It's very simple. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cut a danshiki. This video, I'll teach you how to cut a danshiki and how to sew it. So, subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button down screen right there and turn the notification bell on so that you won't miss out on any of my video. So, without wasting time, let's get into the class and do our danshiki cutting. Thank you. Welcome to my fashion hall. All right, so without wasting time, let's go straight into cutting our danshiki. Right on the table, I have my chalk, I have my ruler, short and long. I have my tape and my scissors. These are basically the tools we'll be using to cut our danshiki. So, um, cutting a danshiki is very simple. Very, very simple. You know, the easiest way to cut your danshiki is to fold your fabric into four. You can see this fabric. First, I need to measure and know that when I fold into four, it will still give me the length of danshiki I want. For this danshiki, I'm looking for a length of just 31 inches. So, folding is the material. You see, so I fold it into two. Fold it into two. That's step one. Fold it into two. So I will measure and see if the length is long enough to give me the length of my danshiki. So I'm looking for a length of just 31. So this is this is 31, so it's long enough to give me my danshiki. You know, so after Folding this way, we now fold for the second time. And the second time we are folding it, you see, we are folding it this way. Second time we're folding this way, you see. So now we have our dan shiki. Now we are using. We are using basically we are using basically three measurements to cut our danshiki. We are using the shoulder, the shoulder measurements, we are using the bust, and we are using the full length of our danshiki. So the length of the top, how long we want it to be. So for our shoulder, the shoulder for this danshiki is 16. So if we measure, you see that we have our 16 here, and we still have excess allowance, and we don't need that much allowance. So we we'll reduce this folding instead of so as not to waste our fabric, we we'll reduce this folding. Let us reduce it so that we can use the remaining fabric there for something else. So we have a shoulder of of 16. This is 16, you know, still you can see this is a little. I don't like wasting fabric. Let's just use exactly what we need. So, okay, this is 16. Yes. So the remaining two inches here will be used for our hemming allowance. Use as hemming allowance. Okay, so this is this is 16 right here. So the arm we we'll use for arm allowance we we'll use 11 right there for our arm sleeve round you know here at this point we're using 11 that should be 22 11 so the next thing for us to do is to take our bust measurement let's extend this line so that we can get our bust measurement you can see the line very clear so our bust measurement when you cut it you divide bust measurement by 4 so let's take our bust measurement. Our bust measurement is 46. If we divide 46 by 4, you'll be having 11 and a half. So this is 11 and a half. We add 1 inch sewing allowance. That becomes 12 
and a half. So you see, this is 11 and a half plus one inch sewing allowance becomes 12 and a half. So let us join this line, this our a shoulder line down. So shoulder line we see we are using 16 for a shoulder. So let's mark the 16 down here and join this point to this point. Right? I join this line and we said our bust is 46 divided by, by 4 we we'll have 11 and a half plus 1 inch allowance that's 12 and a half so we extend our 12 and a half down here this is what this is 12 and a half and we'll add another one and a half inch allowance it becomes 14. this one and a half inch allowance is for the side slit you know there's a little side slit there that we might want to put it's not necessary but if you want you, you add it the next thing for us to check is our length the length of our danshiki the length of our danshiki is 31 this is 31 and we are leaving three inches three and a half inches allowance for the hemi so that becomes 33 and a half so we still mark our 33 and a half this side this is 33 and a half so without wasting time let us join these lines together this is the length of our danshiki the length of our danshiki we join it hope this line is, is, is visible enough clear enough way to see the next thing we join the, the, the side the boss the chest i'm calling the chest yes i do the chest we prefer calling this in the chest the chest fine so like i said if you want to give it a little side slit down here we just um this one i haven't added here you extend it up up to about five six inches it's about six inches for that side and um, slit there overlapping slit there so look at this place now carefully your arm here you're not going to allow it to be sharp like this to be an angle 90 like this you have issues sewing it so what do you do you curve this from here just work very well you curve this from here just work very well hope you can see this you can use your your cups if you have them to cut this can you see so you cover it like that but before cutting this there's a way you cut it you don't um just cut it anyhow if you watch this 11 for our sleeve round but i'm not cutting from here that would be wrong i'll cut and extend by two inches like two inches then i'll cut inwards then what i will do is to fold this in you see is to fold this in very important so after folding this in you still locate your 11 where it was this is your 11 look at 11 here you see so on this point you located 11 you, you join your core back you see this is how you do it such that when you are cutting you cut like this You are following and you are finding it easy and straightforward so you see this is our danshiki now if you open this it will look like this now it's very important if you don't do this if you had cut this straight hmm, by the time you would want to hem this sleeve you see what ha what is happening you'll be having a shortage from here so cutting it like this prevents that shortage from occurring. The next thing we are going to do is to locate, to remove the neck, you know. And this person has a neck of 17. 
so we will mark two and a half inches can you see we are marking two and a half inches for the wideness of this neck this is two and a half inches hope you can see the chalk is clear enough for you to see this two and a half inches by a depth of four and a quarter you see this two and a half by four and a quarter then you join this point just watch join this point to this can you see that you join this point to this this is very simple now how do you cut it out you don't start cutting here if you start cutting here, it means you're cutting both the back and the front piece together you don't do that simply you cut half inch this is this is what this half inch you see so you cut it first both the back and the front you first cut it by half inch look at it you first cut it out by half inch it's a very simple way of cutting danshiki if you've not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn the, the notification bell on so you see i've removed both the back and the front neck with the same depth depth the same depth of half inch once i'm done with that i will now open my danshiki and separately deepen the front piece you see this is my danshiki i've opened it now i will separately deepen the front piece like i said it's a very very simple way of cutting down shiki i don't want to teach you anything that will complicate be complicated so you see at this point we can now remove this neck the front piece and you see Our danshiki is set. You see, this is our neck. This is the front. This is the back. This is the back, and this is the front. So if I should cut this back, you can now see that we have our danshiki right here. You see this is the back and this is the front hope this is very very simple for you to understand this danshiki i want to design it to have two flaps in front it's a double flap design so just follow me and um as we go the two flaps these are the two flaps i want the flaps to be one to be longer than another one one to be a bit short one a bit longer so we are going to gum our flaps now this is color gum i'm going to gum our flaps now so these are the two flaps i'm going to be putting this is my neck piping this neck piping is going to be a bit different from if you watch my video on how to pipe a senator neck you understand that this is a bit different i want to show you different method but also you can see stretching the stretch aspect must be there you know the other the video on how to pipe senator neck this was how i did it i folded into two and then i i hemmed it with the hemming gum and then i folded this way and i pressed it folded this way and i pressed it round but for this one i'm going to use a different approach for fixing it so i'm not going to do that So these are our flaps, you see, I'm going to fix them in the front of this top, you see one is going to be here, one is going to be this side, and then one will be longer than the other, you see, one of the flaps will be longer than the other, as you can see it here, this one will be longer than this one, but are going to both appear in the front like this. So. For that reason, I'm going to 
tear the front piece here. I'm going to tear it by a depth of five inches. This is five inches because I am not going to. I'm tearing it by depth of just five inches because for this design of these two flaps it's just so as to aid the head to enter that's all and this is wide enough for the head to pass through i'm not going to put an inner i'm not going to put a pressing button okay it's going to be like this and like this i'm going to attach a button here for fancy a fancy button here so there won't be anything inside here so if this line is too long it will expose the chest that's why i want it to be just five and a half inches long so let's go to the machine and sew this and then pipe our neck and um we're done with our dan shiki so put our first Flap, got it right here. So put it so for you to easily understand this, this is how I'm going to do it. So so this flap here is very one so it here so we are sewing this make a mark here Second one as well. Open this. See? So we'll turn it to the good face now. Turn it to the good face now. Turn this in. We also turn this in see when we turn them in we are having something like this you can see that we are almost done with our work you see we're having something of this nature you see so the next thing is to sew on the edges So this right here now when you're sewing there's a center line here it's a center line here this flap should not cross that center line or it shouldn't be far from it it should be just on the center line here very important see we are done with this side so we move to the second side so this second side will start from here see see you have to ensure that your lines are straight as you sew your lines are not straight then you won't see a network and you won't like what you are doing at all you 
see how I'm closing it there shouldn't be any space in between the two flaps no space at all So you see, we have finished our flaps. See how they're looking. We are done with our flap. See, one is longer than the other. So the next thing we are going to do now is to pipe our neck. But if you look at this point here, if you don't double stitch here, this might tear in the process of wearing so we are going to double stitch that point and give it a double stitch there such that it will never expand see so we are done we have solved that issue and dealt with that tendency of it expanding so the next thing for us to do now is to pipe our neck we are doing this neck differently not like the one I taught you in the other video I want to teach you I want to teach you different ways of doing things so for this neck see just like I showed you how folded this, so we're going to start fixing it now. So we're going to fix it from inside. I'll sew this line first, then we'll turn it outwards. So just follow me as I fix the neck. I'm allowing this to be this long because there's something I want to show you at the end. So just follow me. It's as long as three inches. So my sewing, I'm matching that, is less than a half inch, that's about 0.3, not up to half an inch. I'm reaching the end here, I'm going to fold this, see, I'm going to fold it in and then I'll match it. So we now turn our neck outside. You see? Now bring it out and we'll still match it. Can you see this? See? But now I am going to start matching all the way from the end here. Start matching all the way from the end here.
so remember there was something I said I was going to show us at the end which was why I didn't which was why I allowed this to come out this long three inches so actually we are going to put a button here so for that reason I am going to turn this like this and then turn it like this and then I'll match you see to create space for the button you see this you see so now I'm going to match this here with the machine So let's go back to the table and press it and see how it is looking. So we see our Danshiki is almost done. All we need to do now is to Fold the sleeves and join the sides. So how done, Shiki. You can see, powerful. Hem the sleeves. Then we will go ahead and join it, and we are done. So after holding the sleeves, then I'm go ahead and join our danshiki. So we sew with the half inch allowance, just half inch. So now the next thing for us to do is to, to hem our danshiki. So for us to hem this, we we'll first of all hem the down part before this hemming the side. So then we'll hem the sides. So as we can see, here comes our Danchiki. well made within a short period of time 
and it's looking all good you see so if you would like to continue seeing amazing content like this from nad fashion hub i advise that you hit the subscribe button in case you're here to subscribe hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be always notified whenever i drop amazing contents like this thank you so much thank you for watching my video i am grateful welcome to nat fashion hub subscribe subscribe for more videos thank you